Boo Hurt is a sport where we basically wear historical armour and we beat the absolute snot out of each other with steel weapons. It's a mixture of sort of, you know, skill, endurance and just sort of calmness during battle. Work him on the left. Use your size, Stephen. I'm thinking, oh God, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done this, you know, I'm going to get the crap beaten out of me. The main idea of the game is to get the opposing team on the ground. So you do that by two ways, either by using takedowns like judo techniques or by pain compliance, which is where you just make them hurt enough that they want to sit down and not fight anymore. I'm not fucking moving. Uh, how I saw this and how I personally got into Boo Hurt, I was driving to gym one night I looked over and I thought, oh wow, uh, those people are fighting in the ring. I looked over again and they were in medieval armour, so I pulled up and I got out with my nephew. We just sort of stood around and watched them do their thing, which was just fighting with uh, weaponry and everything. And we said, where can we sign up? Initially I saw it and obviously it's a very rough sport and I was like, oh, I don't know, that doesn't seem necessarily like my kind of sport. And uh, I met my mate Christian. So I figured, well, if a scrawny guy like him that's about my height and my build can do it, well, why can't I? It was a natural progression from martial arts. When I saw these guys fight, I thought, this is unreal. I've got to get in and have a crack. Uh, so what we went through today um, we do a couple of basic throws that all members should know, which is an Asoto and a Sasai. Basically, they're two trips. They're kind of the bread and butter of the sport. As you can see in the Boo Hurts that we did afterwards, um, in the Boo Hurts, you put those into practice. Three, two, one, start right. Uh, so we're on a 5v5 Boo Hurt, so 5v5 five, uh, uh, five five team versus each other, and uh, we're just going to see who's the last man standing, really. Uh, very fatigued, but very energetic at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> Pretty good. I have a good team and we're well trained. So we're going like four months now. So yeah, can't wait for the competition to head on the 20th. Don't you lock in and you get that warrior mentality, bro. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> A lot of this and a lot of the hard part about training in this sport is it's full contact and we're wearing heavy stuff and you hit hard. Training sessions like this now that we can get back in armour um, is definitely good. Guys will improve really quickly. The only way you, you can improve in this sport dramatically is through armour. Start fight! Okay, I'm ready. Uh, well, I'm going Jesus with uh, I'm taking on Derek now. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna go again. You go take Derek on. And uh, we were up against Derek tonight, who is one of the third leading uh, pro fighters in Australia. And we went up head to head, and uh, we lasted a minute against him. And I felt we we did pretty well together. Well, I did learn, but watching other people and how they approved tonight, um, especially Liam, which is who I'm going against uh, in the first match on the 20th, um, I seen his improvement, and he he only started about uh, two two and a half months ago, and I see major improvement with him every time his technique how he learns to trip, how his technique is with fighting and sort of manhandling people. Yeah, I do feel confident. I've got a lot of training um, probably since the start of the year and I've gotten immensely better. 
uh, just gotten in the zone, I've um, ended up taking on Brad and David, which are the lead members of Tears uh, Toowoomba. And they trained me up well to the point where they need extra training with uh, myself and Liam. So we're the top two at the moment that are going into the pro fights head to head uh, on the 20th. Just working on different variations of sotos and hip throws and just moving into dominant position from um, a grapple. Basically trying to find the spot where we can hit something. A lot of these guys don't come from a combat sport or from uh, a martial arts. Um, so you really have to build from scratch. Not hurting each other is the biggest thing they need to work on. And this is probably... It's a good pace, like the guys are going a good pace and they're really looking after each other tonight, which is good. No one's hitting the canvas hard, no one's striking really hard, giving bruises, like... The chance of injury, touch wood, is really minimal. When you put on 35 kilos of armour, you can't see, you can't breathe, you get a bit foggy in the head, because you've had a couple of hits to the head. <laughs> you've got, you've got a 120 kilo gorilla breathing down your neck. Um, the fundamentals are what you need. And that's the most important thing about this, is just go through those last little touch-ups, things we can work on, things we can focus on. Um, try and learn something new, try and find a spot we can hit it on the weekend. Um, we've got 22 fighters coming this fight night. It'll be a really good night. And our group, as such, all the fighters in there, we've all been training hard over the last couple of months, and we should do well. Um, It'll fatigue you much. So, yeah. me and Derek will corner you. So yes, if you can, as they call stop fight, as you get up, take your gloves off, open your helmet, we'll deal with catching the weapons and the gloves and bringing it back to your top of you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Make sure you have a water bottle that you can drink out of in your helmet. family and friends, what they think about me doing this, um, they, they reckon I'm crazy. You never really know what to expect on a fight night. You can have one that's very tame or one that's very, very bad. <laughs> um, I know some guys have lost eyes, um, people have had broken hands, uh, you know, split spleens. Hey, with a ruptured spleen. Someone ruptured their spleen uh, with an axe. <laughs> The impact you get when someone's smashing your helmet full speed is a bit like being in a car accident. Stephen getting checked over now, all excited for his first fight. Alright, and then coming in is Liam. Both of these are Toowoomba boys. On the start of the 
Loaded. Despite how tired I am, I'm feeling really fantastic. It was a good night, the crowd was pretty wild. It was a good atmosphere, man. I loved it. I think I honestly fared quite well considering this is my first competition fight and considering how good I, well I did in the first round and how well I held up in the free for alls and also the second round in the Boohoo comp, I think I did pretty well. In the very last all the all, the last two people standing on that last one, one of them was Steven. This is his second fight. His other one was a demo fight for Toowoomba Show. So he was up for that entire fight. So that was, that was pretty good. That's very good on him. What's after this? Hopefully more competitions, man. Hopefully more training so I can get a lot better than I was and see if I can kick some of this. Back to training. Back to training. Train, 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 train. Drillers make killers. You've got to do it. You know what? That's a win for you, right? That's a win for you.